is an amazing young lady, Genesis Butler. She turned her family vegan when she was five years old. And she's been an activist ever since. She's won many awards as an activist. And still, she has found time to do her schoolwork, to be in TV and movies, to speak to large groups of people. And her energy puts us adults to shame. So uh, she is here to give us her perspective from a young person's point of view about vivisection and dissection. Genesis. Thank you everyone for coming and being a voice for the animals because the animals have a voice but humans don't think so, so we're their voice. <laughs> I think it's important to help animals and I think it doesn't matter how old you are because I think my generation, they love animals and they want to help animals but they don't know how to. So there's a lot of things that they can do. So I have some, I have some things that we can help them in a lot of different ways. Say no to dissecting animals. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have friends who have been told they have to dissect animals when they don't want to. And their teachers say you have to dissect the animals, but they say that they don't want to because it's not right and it's unethical, which it is. And it's not right to dissect animals, so they say I don't want to dissect these animals and the teachers say, well, you have to. But if that ever happens to you or a child you know, it's a state law that they have to give you a different project and you can either ask your teacher or your principal and tell you tell them that you want a different project because that's not right. You can also not buy products that are tested on the animals because they're tested and the animals don't want to be tested on. If you want to test something, test it on yourself. <laughs> so, because it's not right to test on animals. That's not something that people should do, and I think that it's not it's not right at all. And it's people might think that it's hard. It's not hard. There's you can go online, and PETA has a very long list of things that you can buy that aren't tested on animals that are cruelty free. Like for example, my mom she buys the brand Elf because they don't they're not tested on animals, and it's very affordable. So she buys that brand and it's not tested on animals. And you can also teach other other kids about how you can you can teach other kids about how animals are being tested on and how it's very it's not right. And if the kids know because every kid loves animals and they're gonna tell their parents, I can't buy products that aren't tested on animals anymore. And the more people that listen, the more that they're not gonna get any products bought and they're going to have to stop. So before I go, I was thinking about the animals and I wrote a poem last night. It's called Until Every Cage is Empty. <laughs> animals live on this planet with us. They are not here for us. So why do humans test on animals when there is no need? They feel pain and they suffer from testing. So please listen when we say animals, animals need to be free. When you spend time with animals that are used for testing, you will see they have personality and feelings just like you and me. Stop, stop. So you stop abusing animals and send them to a place where they can live in peace like New Life Sanctuary. Kid, pigs, yeah. <laughs> pigs, cats, mice, dogs, hamsters, and rabbits are some of the animals that are tortured when they are kept in cages and tested on. What will vivisectors do when their tests don't work and all animals are gone? Millions of animals are taken from their homes to be tested on, and they suffer, and they suffer like Britches the monkey. Britches was a little baby when they stitched his eyes shut after they took him from his family. 
How would you like it if someone took you from your home and made it so you could never see? I am happy. I live in a time where science can make all life better for all of us. And that includes animals too. Science can be used so humans don't, don't, need, test, don't need animal testing. So please use technology to help people and stop abusing animals. This is the right thing to do. We all protect the animals and be their voice. Humans took their voice away. The animals are telling us they need our help, so, so we will keep speaking for them. The other sectors, we aren't going anywhere until every cage is empty. We are here to stay. Thank you. Thank you, Genesis. He is one busy activist. Stop hurting animals!